You know, a lot of people ask me um, what one of the main reasons are for my theism, you know, for why I believe that um, there's a higher power, there's a God. Because a lot of people talk about evidence. A lot of people say, look, there's no evidence. You know, we, we just happen to be, let's accept that and move on. And what I want to highlight is one of the strongest points for my belief, for why I believe, has something to do with evidence. You see, my, my belief is backed up with evidence. Now, it doesn't directly prove anything in terms of a higher power or deity, but it does prove something and it does prove that we are special does prove that we are beyond anything else. Now you may ask why, you know, what, what makes us so special? Now science has taken us very far and in the fields of astronomy we've, we've discovered a lot about space. Um, me, I'm amazed by, by the night sky. Science has proven Thus far, as we know, science is always evolving, it's always shifting and shaping and moving around. Thus far, we have observed that there is no planet like Earth. There is no observable planet like Earth. And there is no sophisticated life forms like humans. Now, a lot of people say, that is stupid. How do you know that? You know, the universe is vast. It's expansive. It's expanding. How do you know that there is no other life forms out there? That's ridiculous. People literally say, there are life forms out there. We just don't know it. But there's no evidence to back that up. Now, just a couple months ago, many, many light years away, a planet was discovered. And the planet that was discovered resembled, almost, almost resembled Earth. And when I read this news, I was like, wow, wow. You see, I am open. <laughs> I was amazed. Um, but there are a few problems with this planet. Okay. They just outright suggested that 99% sure that there's life forms on that planet with absolutely no evidence to back that up. Furthermore, they said that the sun and the moon have no effect on that planet. It's stationary. So what that means is that half of the planet is always dark, half of the planet is always bright. Half of the planet is really cold, the other half is really hot. Now, in the Qur'an, in the book of Islam, in the Qur'an, it says that one of the signs of God is the alternation of night and day. This is one of the proofs. One of, this is one of the signs of God. It's the alternation of night and day that we see on this planet on earth. Did you notice that planet that they found, which I'll link you, has no alternation of night and day. It's frozen. And there's no evidence of any life form. We currently have observable evidence that highlights that we are a planet that is special. And we are a species that is special. We are unmatched amongst this universe thus far that we know of. And we currently have the utilities to prove that Earth is a special creation. Evolved or not, it's still beyond any other planet that we know of. And no other planet can sustain life like Earth. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. 
show me another planet that has such sophisticated life forms, evolved or not. Show me another planet that is capable of such an expanse of life. It doesn't exist. And then for you to say to me that we are not special, well, the evidence suggests that we are. So maybe it's time that you started thinking twice about this home that you're living in, this shell in the universe. Start thinking about that. Because to me, these are two very strong points for why I believe that we are gifted. Our life is a gift. And our home is a gift, despite its flaws. I know people are going to say, oh, but there's earthquakes and it's an imperfect world. I know it's an imperfect world. I never said it was. Neither did God say it's a perfect world. That's beyond anything else. But I want you to sit back and think. If you love evidence so much, then look at the evidence around you right now. Don't make suggestions. That's outlandish. Look at what, the, what you have in front of you right now. And it suggests that you are special. So don't put yourself down and say that you're not. It's not selfish. It's an, uh, it's an observable fact. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This is just me um, putting through my opinion, you know? And uh, again, it's all right if you disagree. You know, I'm not here to just start some theological debate. I'm just here to put forward my view, you know, on, on why I, I love life and I love what I see around me. I mean I'm just sitting in my backyard now looking at the sun going down and I feel at bliss.